This week, we're gonna cover the price of websites. What's up, fish fans? My name is Marcus, and you're watching Marketing Madness, the Bluefish Vlog. This is the third edition of this video. Now this week, we're gonna take on the number one question we get here at Bluefish. And what is that question? The number one question we're asked is, how much does a website cost? And our answer is, well, it depends. If you're willing to put in a little sweat equity, companies like Squarespace, Wix, or GoDaddy can help you get a website up and running for about $20 a month. These can be great options if you just want to have a presence on the internet. We think the question should be flipped though. Instead of asking how much is a website, ask how much website you can get for your budget. How can you determine your budget for a website? We've discussed the Small Business Administration before in a previous video, but I'll recap. Businesses under $5 million should be spending 7 to 8% of their total revenue on marketing and advertising. To make those numbers real, a business that does $500,000 would budget about $30,000 to $40,000 a year. And a million dollar company would budget $70,000 to $80,000. And a $2 million company would budget somewhere in the neighborhood of $140,000 to $160,000. That is not to say that you should spend all of that on your website. You have to measure your requirements, your budget, and the part your site plays in your overall marketing plan to decide what percentage of your advertising budget should be spent on a website. And once you have your budget, partner with a company that understands the problem you are trying to solve and can work within that budget to get you the functionality that you need to grow your business. I've been told by numerous people that they think that is crazy. But the truth is, if you're trying to build a business, you need to be investing money and time in marketing strategies that generate additional business. Properly marketing your product or service helps create the necessary awareness to increase your leads and accelerate sales. Here at Bluefish, we think a website is the foundation to any good marketing and advertising campaign. So if a $20 a month option is not going to fit your needs, then you would want to involve someone with a little bit of web development experience, an advertising agency like us, you can get started for a low, as low as $500 down. These are typically theme-based sites where once installed, you just have to enter in a little bit of content and this makes it a viable solution for some small business owners. It may not have the custom flourishes um, that you're looking for, but it looks good and communicates your product or services. Now the next step up would be maybe a semi-custom or a completely custom website. This involves a lot of time on the development side and specific expertise. So expect this to be in the thousands or tens of thousands of dollars and not in the hundreds. This typically gets you a website that is customized to your colors, images, and content. And the truth is, depending on your requirements, you can actually spend millions of dollars on a website. At this scale, you're paying for custom interactions, specific needs for gathering information, user workflows where you have ultimate control over what a user sees and experiences on your site, and testing lots and lots of user testing to make sure that everything performs as it should. All of these requirements mean that that means that the agency has to spend more time developing a solution, but those details may be precisely what your organization needs. One thing to consider is the primary function of your website. Is your site a small business brochure or does it need to be a full service website with a support section, member logins, you know, areas for account information, e-commerce and a payment processing and more. Each of those has a cost. You'll also want to consider integrations with outside systems. Are you integrating a form for email newsletter signups? Do you have a method for checking when someone abandons their shopping cart? An additional functionality for targeting people that are visiting your website? Are there custom integrations like realtors websites would have with the MLS? Or integrations with strategic business applications like Salesforce? All of those integrations take additional time to develop, adding to the cost of your website. We know our answer of it depends is not what most people want to hear. We aim to help you see how a website for a small re restaurant would be a different price than a site for a company with lots of requirements and integrations for external services. So just keep in mind, you're somewhere in the neighborhood of between $500 and a million dollars, okay? <laughs> Well, that's a wrap for this week. I wanna thank you for checking in. Make sure to hit that like button, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you want to talk about how Bluefish can help you grow your business, just send us a message and we'll get that conversation started.